YouTube. Welcome into another episode of New and Old Funko Pop Unboxings. We have a J Navo Toys Box Mystery Box today for you. We've never ordered from them. We've seen Grown Kids TV and plenty of others order from them, and they love their boxes. So we thought, hey, let's get in on this. Hey. Might be some cool stuff in here. At least there should be. McGillie, are you ready, sir? I am born. Yes, you have been born. To be ready. There we go. I'm Jeremy, and I'm old. <laughs> I'm McGillie, and I'm new. That's right. On this episode, we got a J Navo mystery box for you. You can follow him on Instagram. I'll go ahead and put the uh, information down here at the bottom. He's got some really great stuff. He's put out, I believe, Miguel, this is the search for the orange Deadpool, oh. which is the gray, top gray on this box. But we'll, you, I'll show you all that in a minute. Before, yeah. before we get to all that, thank you to those of us who, for those of us, I keep saying that. My thank you to those of you who follow us on Instagram. And of course, a huge shout out to thank you guys who follow us. A huge shout out to you guys who support us on Patreon yes. as well. Right, That's how we fund our channel going yes. forward, including our mystery boxes that we do ourselves. And you can check out all that information at newandoldpops.com. Okay? Yep. So, uh, before we get to the Jane box... C-O-M dot com. Before we get to the Jane Navo box, I have a box here from a, uh, a buddy of mine. Uh, McGinley met him a long time ago. Probably doesn't remember him. That's how, sadly, what? that's how long he's, been, he's, he's left the area. What? His name is Darren... And his wife, his wife Lori, as well. Uh, they pre-ordered, and I knew he would. I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, the NHL 21 game from GameStop, and with the pre-order for NHL 21, you got a very special, exclusive Happy Gilmore. Oh, me? GameStop exclusive. Me? Pop. So that's what we got. So we got, a, and Darren agreed to send it on to us because of our channel, because he doesn't collect pops. But he pre-ordered the game. And he said, "Hey, I got this pop." I said, "That would be great. We would love to take it." So there, this is going to go into my Happy Gilmore collection behind me. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's right up here. And uh, <laughs> uh, I will, I will rant for a couple seconds and just say that I don't like this one as much as I thought I was going to, because if you notice. Hmm. It is a combination of these two pops. On the Funko Shop, you can see him with his hockey stick. His hockey stick putter. Okay? So there he is in regular clothes, hockey stick putter. And this one, which is the common version, you can see him in his Boston Bruins jersey, which is awesome, by the way, because he wears it in the film, with his putter to his side. This one is basically the same exact thing. Just oh, It's a hybrid of the two. He's got his hockey stick putter in his Boston Bruins jersey. So, here you go. You put these two together, and you get this one. Okay? Now, again, I'm glad it's to have... It's kind of funny, though. Yeah, well, no, it is. I'm glad to have them all in my collection. The, I, what, my issue is just that... Really? I mean, <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of scenes in that movie that they could have done, taken, taken from. But instead, they decided to just be like, Alright, look, here, just these two molds... These two molds just make a hybrid of them, and they came up with this one. But this thing here and there, we are very appreciative of Mr. Darren to send this. We love you, buddy. We hope you're doing well. You can actually uh, follow him uh, in his awesome podcast that he has. It's called the Geek Cave. Thanks to Darren and the Geek Cave podcast crew for sending this pop over. They're raising money for Children's Miracle Network Hospitals with their annual Extra Life effort. You can click the Extra Life link at geekcavepodcast.com. To learn more, uh, go give it a listen. I'm telling you, it's it, it's great. It's really great, especially if you love video games. If you love video games. You got to go check out the Geek Cave. Okay. And it, by the way, and yes, it is 100 uh, family friendly. Just okay, in case there's any question good, there, because sometimes McGillney here will watch a video about Terraria or mm -hmm. uh, Among Us or you know whatever it is. And if, if you don't know what Terraria is, do, it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, so Terraria, Among Us, your favorite video games, Animal Crossing, even uh, before, yeah. uh, not now, but before, right? So yeah. those are the kind of games that he likes to watch mm -hmm. videos of, and that's great. We encourage that. It's awesome. The issue is that sometimes we, if we don't know the YouTuber, mm -hmm. it can be a little inappropriate, and we have to monitor that because he's eight years old. So mm -hmm. uh, this one in particular, Geek Cave, I, I, it's a great listen, but also it is 100% family appropriate, so enjoy. J Navo Toys is the Mystery Box Company. Super you can see their hard. logo right there. J Navo. Uh, we are thrilled uh, to have this because we always see uh, grown kids and other companies, uh, companies, other YouTubers uh, open J Nava boxes, and they are thrilled with their with. So we're gonna. This is our first time ordering from them. We're very excited. 
And as you can see at the bottom of your screen, this is the hunt for orange Deadpool. Uh, we are not necessarily we are not necessarily hunting for the orange Deadpool because um what we would love to have the orange Deadpool. It's worth a lot of money. But Why? here's the list. Here's the photo of top hits, and as you can see, there are, I don't know ten on here that I would love to have. Right, that we'd love to have. Uh, I, mean, I don't know the picture. Yeah, no, I know, but it's yeah, edited, right? But you can see that on your screen the ten, the top hits. On their There's about ten on here that we'd love to have, and uh, we're just excited to dig in and see what we got. Ready, Miguel? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, uh, let's do pop. Let's see. Well, first of all, we got to check with the hard stack. That's the first thing we got to do. It's been a while since we've had a box that could have a hard stack in it. Uh, let's see. I got a business card there. Okay, we're not looking. Trying to see, we have a soft protector, mm. and it looks like two common pods. There's definitely no hard stack in here, so it is not the orange Deadpool. So if you order from Jay yeah. in this line, mm -hmm. then you still have a chance to get the orange Deadpool. All right, Miguel, are you ready to go for the first common? Yes. Okay, here we go. What do we have? Alexander Rockall. Okay, from the Haunted Mansion. It is the non-chase version. There's a chase of this. So Alexander Nitrokov, and I hope I'm saying that correctly. It's not, it's not off, it's off. True. Number two. We got you ready? Wait. Oh, sorry. Alexander Nit Nitrokov, probably. Alexander Nit Nitrokov. Sure. Are because it has nitro in it. Yes. Are you ready for number Nitrokov. two? Nitrokov. Yeah. Here we go, number two. What do we have? Oh looking. my gosh, it's signed. Oh, it's not signed. But this might be one of my favorite pops we've ever pulled. Why? This is Jack Torrance from The Shining. <gasps> oh! And he has... He's talking about the red rum right here. I don't know if you can see that. Right. There. What is that? Red rum is the saying in the movie. Look at the splatter on the side. That is awesome! Look at the blood splatter on the side of the box. Oh my gosh. That's fantastic. Red rum is uh, is what he says in the movie, of course. So, man, that is... I know it's the common, but there is a chase of this and, as well. And I know we usually do that, but since it's a horror movie, we're not going to show the scene. Yeah, we're not gonna, yeah, definitely not going to show the scene, or talking about it for sure. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that might be my favorite pot. This is on my wish list, this and the chase, so we got a winner so far. Uh, what I do notice, though, is both of these pops have chases. <laughs> These are the commons, of course, but they're both what have is chases. The chase? uh, uh, at the end of the movie, spoiler alert, mute for 10 seconds. At the end of The Shining, mm -hmm. uh, he is uh, lured outside in the freezing cold mm -hmm. and it freezes to death, so he's mm -hmm. like he's like a clear blue. He's free, He's frozen. He's frozen Jack Torrance. Mm. You can turn your sound back on now. Okay, uh, and the last <laughs> and then we have three pops in this box. I forgot but to say they, that. But they probably didn't hear... You can turn your sound back on now because... Um, no, but I put it on the screen. So they know. Because I did that once before. When I had to explain it, something to you. I think it was Game of Thrones or something. Yeah, it was, it was Game um, of Thrones. Yeah. I, I explained the headless Spoiler net start to you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Soft protector. Miguel, you can go ahead and take this one. Uh, we're going to move it around here. I'm not going to look at it. It's just one thing in the box. You want to go ahead and uh, unbox it there, sir? Um, Step Brothers. Is it Step Brothers? This is a good we're price. This is a good value pop right here. It's not spectacular because it's just a person pop. Like, it's just a, a person. There's no real character or anything, really. Uh, but Brendan, or Brennan, excuse me. Brennan Huff is the, from Step Brothers, is the pop. This is oh, a, Step Brothers. This is a highly sought after pop, at least recently. They, these two have just gone up. Here's the movie with Will Ferrell, and I think his name is John C. Riley. Will Ferrell. Uh, there's the two pops there Dale and Brennan. There you go. I love Will Ferrell. He's so hilarious. He is pretty hilarious. He should be a comedian. A stand-up comedian? I, think he's I don't like think a, he's ever done stand-up. I think stand -up. he's like an actor comedian. He isn't, he's, no, he's a comedic actor for sure. But he's also done some serious stuff, which has been really good, by the way. He does not get a lot of credit for that. Mm -hmm. It's time for our draft, sir. I don't know if you even want to have a draft, to be honest, uh, but we can have one if you'd like. No, I don't want to know. Okay, okay, no draft then. That's totally fine, because what's going to happen here is uh, this one is a highly sought after pop. We will probably put this in a future mystery box. Mystery box. Yep. Because uh, there's some value here, and that's a chaseable pop. This is definitely going into my collection. I love this pop. I mean, the fact they have the blood splatter on the on the window and the red rum and oh, it's just so great. It might be one of my, it's probably my top five pops that I own. And then this one will definitely go into a future mystery box because um, 
We don't follow the, the Haunted Shining Mansion. Is his favorite horror movie. Uh, we don't. Uh, we don't follow the Haunted Mansion. Uh, I don't know who this character is necessarily. I probably should, but I don't. And Mr. Ron, our, pro- our business partner. Pro- I probably should because. Our mystery box partner, a business partner, yes. Mr. Ron, already has this one. So we don't need to give it to him. He, he loves the Haunted Mansion. He collects all the pops and stuff. Mm-hmm. He wants all the shirts, you know, all that stuff, right? Uh, but he already has this one. So mm-hmm. no need to give it to him. So again, thank you for joining us, Jay Navo. You, you, I mean, this is the best part about the Jay Navo thing, right? Mm-hmm. Other than maybe the Alexander Nitrokov, which we've seen in Hot Topic. Other than that, I have never seen these two pops in the real I've never seen these two pops in real life. And that was one of the greatest things that we saw on Grown Kids TV when they kept unboxing these Jay Navo boxes mm-hmm. is that you don't see them all the time. And you, so, don't, you don't see you don't see it every day. Right. And that's that's really all we ask in mystery boxes, to be honest, right? All we really ask is that we don't pull the stuff that we can go get at Target yeah. or GameStop or Hot Topic right now or box lunch right now. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Anyway, that's been great. Uh, Jane Abel, thanks so much for hooking us up. We really appreciate it. No grail, of course. But we still feel really good about our value. We yes. still feel really good about the pops. Thank you, Mr. Darren. For the shining. Yes. Yeah. I, I, again, I know you have you have no control over what goes to who, but good job. Uh, and then, Mr. Darren good job, and, and Geek Cave Podcast. Thank you so much for the Happy Gilmore pop as well, McGillney. Thank the people for the Instagram follows and for the Patreon supports. Um, for those of you who, I've never done it before. I know, so give it a shot. Do, no, you had to do it. I gotta do it, okay. No, no. Thank you to those those of you who join us and follow us on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And of course, thank you so much to those of you who support us on Patreon. We couldn't do it without you. That's how we're funding our channel going forward in these difficult times. And on top of that, we have our mystery boxes for sale, newandoldpops.com. Go check them out. Even if you're watching this video six months from now, we may have a mystery box up there. You just never know. We don't want to. We want to keep these videos somewhat evergreen, meaning you can watch them whenever. And so we're not going to sit there and be like, oh, coming up on the 10 o'clock Central on November. Th-. We're not going to do any of that because we want it to be available to you no matter what. Mm-hmm. So please go to newandoldpops.com, see what we have for sale. Help us support our channel that way, and you get some great pops as well. Mm-hmm. Miguel, thank you so much for doing this. I know it's been a really busy week, and we're trying to f- carve out some time here. So I really appreciate you making the time and being able to do this. Because <clears throat> quite honestly, I can't do it without you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. We are new and old Funko Pop unboxings. Until uh, next time. I'm Jeremy, and I'm old. I'm McGillney, and I'm new. Uh-huh.